Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged and our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like make comments and subscribe and also turn on all your notification bells that way every time i upload a video you will be the first to see it so let's get into it and also the cash app is let's talk about it media 21 so let's get into it last night if you did not see it you missed it i was watching a youtuber i wonder can i say the name when you, when you look this up, it'll say the person's name, but I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I was watching Michelle on YouTube. Great show last night. If you missed it, you got to go watch. <laughs> Great show. I like how Peter and Michelle get along. It's really cool. You can tell they've been friends for a long time. Peter spilt the tea last night. <laughs> Peter talked about Cynthia. Recently, Cynthia posted a picture about her and Peter. And I'm, I must have been tired that night because I thought I saved it. So it was something about thinking about going back home or something. So I guess, you know, people were asking Cynthia and Peter, what's going on? Why does Cynthia post that picture? Peter said, I'm not interested in going back. <laughs> <laughs> go check out Michelle's video I'm not gonna give you no more than that it was hilarious hilarious so I'm glad he called in and it was such a good show it was such a good show last night okay so let's get into this Peter Thomas says he doesn't F with none of the escape members but then he said something else I'll let you listen in on what he said but he kind of said he don't really mess with Candy because it's not like he's ever hung out at the house and then everything that happened with Apollo. But you'd have to go to Michelle's channel to listen to it all. This is just a snippet that Neighborhood House is talking about. So I'm going to let you listen in on what he had to say. But there's been a lot that's been going on in regards to Escape. Candy show just got canceled. There was an altercation at one of her restaurants. It's been unfortunate. Someone allegedly got injured. Check out my other video regarding that. But Candy also said she's been getting into it a lot of, with a lot of people this year. And I can understand why. The personality with Candy is when you look at what she does. In a lot of situations, she's great. She's calm. But if you have some feedback... You could tell. So let's listen in on what Peter had to say. But you have to check out Michelle's show from last night in regards to the conversation she had with Peter about Cynthia and Escape and Candy. I couldn't give a fuck about Escape. None of them. Not even Latasha? I like Tiny, T.I.'s wife. And okay. her and I never really have strong dialogue. But I, I always feel like she's always true to who she is. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I like her a lot. But the rest of them, I don't know them. You know Candy? Do I? Do I? <laughs> what beef do you have with Candy? I don't know beef with Candy, but I don't really know her. You've been following the drama with Escape and uh, Candy and Latasha? I don't fuck with none of them. <laughs> none of them? None of them. I couldn't give a fuck about Escape. <laughs> Peter is a trick. None of them. Not even Latasha? I like Tiny, T.I.'s wife. And okay. her and I never really have strong dialogue. But I, I always feel like she's always true to who she is. 
Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I like her a lot. But the rest of them, I don't know them. You know Candy? Do I? Do I? <laughs> what beef do you have with Candy? I don't know beef with Candy, but I don't really know her. You've been following the drama with Escape and uh, Candy and Let's You've been following. Now, mind you, he was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta with Candy. Oh, this is so funny. So, okay. So, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. And he's basically saying the same thing here. You would have to go check out Michelle's video. It's very interesting. So, this is the ladies at the uh, Soul Train Awards. And this is where this is where the ladies were in different outfits. So let me make it very clear. I already did a video on it, but just in case you missed that video, the ladies went to the uh, Soul Train Awards. Allegedly, Latasha called Candy's stylist, saying, "What is the look for the carpet?" There's a text message. Check my old videos. What's the look? He was basically like, we're just kind of going with the flow. Something flowy, something long, something like that. He kind of mentioned kind of flowy and long. So he's like, okay. Now, mind you, it's being alleged that Candy has a stylist and all the other young ladies use Candy stylus, which meaning Tiny and Latasha's sister. I think her name's Tamika. Yeah, Tamika. So they get to the event <laughs> <laughs> and Latasha walked in. The look was everything. Makeup, dress, fly. <laughs> so that didn't work. And the other ladies looked beautiful, but people were like, what in the world? But they got on stage. They did the doggone thing. They, they were all in the same similar color, like a gold outfit. But there's been a lot that's been going on in regards to Escape. Um, I think they have an up and coming thing with Bravo, maybe, but also it was being alleged that Latasha didn't want to do the up and coming concerts because there was concerns in regards to someone and her husband, her husband, and allegedly the guy made some unwelcoming comments about her husband. So she said, I'm not going to fool with him. And I get that and see it's something how. When someone does something in regards to your loved one, people will still be okay with dealing with that person. It's funny, unless it happens to you, people will still fool with a person that's not respectful to you or your spouse. That amazes me. And you know what I found? I don't mess with people after that. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. No, because what you're going to do, you wait in your turn because something's like this is going to happen to you too. You're waiting your turn and don't call me crying. When that person turns around and does something disrespectful to you. You get what I'm saying? I told you, I really am about focusing on healthy, safe relationships. Now, why isn't the couples, everybody sticking up for Latasha and her husband? Not certain. Not all comments are alleged. But in regards to the group, it is concerning that that's what's being alleged. That Latasha husband and whoever set up this up and coming concert, she don't fool with him. So after this three, four, five, six shows, will she then still be with Escape? I'm going to check into that, let you guys know. But yeah, Candy and Latasha has been kind of going in and oh yeah. But the ladies look great. But yeah, the other thing that I did a video on. And so many arguments in the past, since the summer, since we were filming the Escape show all the way now, filming Housewives, I feel like I have argued everybody i'll be feeling like everybody is coming for me constantly lately and this time i'm just not taking it lying down yes i have been having to read some people left and rights <laughs> and um yeah it's been it's been going down like almost had some really crazy blowouts with some people um this has been a very crazy time i have been in so many when well, Candy and the gang return. Unfortunately, it is not returning. Bravo is not bringing it back. Mm, that's so sad, and I am super sad about it. 
Okay, I'm gonna move on now because I don't even want to get sad right now. When will Candy and the gang return? Unfortunately, but I'm I'm sure she's not surprised. There's just been too much going on in regards to the altercations and in regards to maybe the restaurant and the health inspection issues. And it's just not a good look for Bravo. There's just been too many things. And if the cast, if the producers are scared to go to a location that there might be some drama or conflict, that's that I, I don't often hear about unless you're this other network that many people are talking about. But yeah, many people are saying, no, I don't blame the producers for not wanting to, you know, continue with the show. But some people are surprised and hurt. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.